What a fucking, like, dire song to, to show up in the shuffle. <laughs> what the fuck? This isn't a Halloween song. This is like a, like, a everybody died song. This is a, the world is fucking ending song. Where's the whimsy? I mean, it's a good song. It's a good song. Um, hi everyone. Hello, hello, hello. I'm here. It's Monday. Welcome to tonight's stream. We're gonna be playing the new Scream Fortress update. <clears throat> this is gonna be a little lower energy than usual because I had a fucking annoying day at work. Um, so we're just gonna chill. We're just gonna chill. Uh, my friends are still invited to join my game if they really want to, but I don't think I'm gonna go on mic. With any friends, I don't have the energy. I, I I don't have the energy to carry a conversation that's real. I want to yell about toys. <laughs> um. But I hope you are all doing well. Um. Let me actually do this. I will. I will bingo. Don't worry. I will become an ultimate Team Fortress gamer. Dude, can I say also, like, already, like, they, they released the new... Uh, they released Scream Fortress, obviously, which means a new crate. That crate is already less than 20 cents. I didn't even get time to play the video game before the new crates were, like, worthless. They're already, like, nobody wants these things. <laughs> Dude, I remember, like, when, like, what was it? Love and War dropped. And, like... That shit went... That, that, those crates went for crazy prices for... I wanna say almost a week. Also, I got my I got myself a, a, a couple cuties. I got the crate. I got the crate. We'll unbox a crate. All right. This is this is what I, this is what I will do for you all to start off this stream. And we just unboxed. Strange shortness of breath. And it, it do be a strange? Okay. I mean, it's only mercenary grade, which is not great, but it is, it is strange. It's kind of odd. It's an odd individual. I don't know, can I sell that for anything? Because I'm not gonna fucking use it. Dude, wait, I could sell this for more than the crate right now. Dude, wait, I'll sell this right now, get back my money. Let's go. Dude, I unboxed something and I made my money back. This is crazy. What the hell? Or at least that's, uh, that's what we we're hoping for. Cause that'll make my money back. If someone, if someone bites, you know. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I, I technically have money for another one from selling other TF2 items, but I will not be doing that. So I got a I got a cute item for the engineer. It turns him into an arcade machine. And it's named after the Lemon Demon song. This is like such a mis mismatch of cosmetics. I don't know why you can put these like object things over your head and then still have a bunch of other random shit.
I don't know, you could have this guy. You can have two cutely sweets. What a what a fine engineer. I didn't realize this was ever added. I'm surprised I never saw this cosmetic. I guess it is a Halloween only thing. But I'm just surprised. Um, but I have I have decked out my awesome pyro. I was told to play with the Dragon's Fury. I've never used this item before, and uh, I may never use it again. I make no promises. I like I like it old style. I like it old style. We do have new Halloween contracts. So you know I'll be hopping on those shits. We'll be doing some Halloween contracts tonight. Also, yeah, since I won't be having friends uh, joining me, we'll just we'll, we'll have the playlist go while I'm doing this. A toll, zombie infection. What the fuck is zombie infection? Huh? Wait, what is that? Dude, we got a second new game mode this year? This is crazy. Zombie infection. Oh god, I'm a zombie. My passive ability? What? <laughs> Wait, what the hell? <laughs> what, what do I do as a zombie? Huh? Okay. Wait, what's the what's the point of this game mode? So fucking confused right now. What is this? <laughs> what kind? What? I'm so befuddled. I have like so little health too that I kind of just keep getting on. UI, dude! Look at the UI! What is happening? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> dude, I should not have played this first thing after getting home from a fucking annoying day of work. I'm so confused. So wait, I still get my rocket launcher? Oh wait, where's my awesome one? Oh, there it is. It just kind of looks weird in this lighting. <laughs> what is the point of this game mode? So it's like a zombie comes out of there, and then we shoot the zombie? Oh, but people can get infected by the zombies. Well, how do they get infected by the zombies? Do the zombies have to, like, kill you? That seems, like, really hard for the zombies to do. I mean, I don't know. I could be wrong. Right now, I'm, like, fine. I haven't gotten attacked by a ghoul. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, like, baffled.
How the fuck are the zombies with their shitty little melee supposed to handle a rocket launcher? <laughs> What's this medic doing with a vaccinator too? The vaccinator doesn't have like a melee damage reducing uber. That's that like a flashbang? <laughs> what is happening? Oh no! I was infected! <laughs> You're now a zo okay, so if you if you die ever you become a zombie. So don't die, okay? So if I go engineer, oh, that's the grenade. It, it, okay. I get the sapper. This is this is real. This is on a real server. Just this zombie mode. Okay, so I have to like toss this at like any sentries. I got one of the teleporters. Do I have like any class I could just blow shit up? So I'm the tank. So I guess that doesn't really do anything for me except I have a lot of health. Well, I, I, I think I've gotten my bearings a little bit. Uh, how are you guys doing tonight? How are you guys doing? Hope you have a better day than I did. It, it was one of those days where it's like, I don't even want to talk about it. Alright? And I won't. Oh man, I got the achievement for killing 10 snipers as, with a melee weapon with the classic or whatever. You lost your god game lose streak? Oh, congratulations on winning, or sorry that that happened. Three survivors remain, they now have mini crits. Oh, I don't get healed from candy. Known fact about zombies, they don't get healed by candy. It's very realistic. <laughs> oh, the last person alive gets crits. Interesting. What class are they? They're- they're a demo knight. Okay, yeah, that- that was inevitable. I don't know what homie was thinking going demo night. I guess we'll try our new... our new funny. I don't know how to use this toy. I know how to use this toy. Yeah, I got Christmas lights on all my- all my pyro stuff now. I got rid of my spy shit, so it all went to pyro. The- the pyro economics at play here are crazy. Use the dragon's fury like a shotgun? I mean, I get that much. I'm just like... What can I say? I'm- I'm traditional. I want to be doing like this, with my flamethrower. Damn, we're good at killing these zombies. We do have some funny news. 
Yesterday I was looking for any gaming news to talk about and I couldn't think of any. Uh, we have funny gaming news. Uh, the Unity CEO is retiring. Ha! Ha! From this mortal coil? Oh, if only. But no, he is, uh, as far as I can tell, the current Unity CEO is retiring from the company. Probably because everybody's like, this guy sucks now. So hopefully whoever they get as the next Unity guy is not nearly as fucking stupid as this guy was. I have never seen... Well, no, that's not true. I I've seen companies burn through some some goodwill before. Uh, not very often in the way that Unity did. I mean, it was crazy. Don't know if they could ever recover from this one. I mean, I don't know if it'll be like a full rehabilitation, but at the very least, like getting rid of the fucking dude who was in charge of that decision, I mean, that's a start. That's a start. But I do think Unity will have to do a lot to, like, re-earn, like, developer trust. I gotta be honest, I'm actually liking this weapon more than I thought I would. You know what the thing is? Even though it doesn't- it doesn't have the fun spraying ability, but it's got range. Which I can appreciate, because not a- not a whole lot of weapons in TF2 have range. Uh, this one does. I feel like I've hit a couple people from, like, a decent distance and been like, damn. I didn't even think that one should hit. Like, how the fuck is any of these dudes supposed to even get close to me when I have this? This is great. If nothing else, the Dragon's Fury is the best, uh... Best zombie infection viral weapon. No, I'm a zombie now. What is Pyro's zombie ability? Hell spawn passive. I don't know what that means. That doesn't- that doesn't mean anything to me. I like the tank. I just want to be the tank. Being the tank is fun AF. Apparently I infected somebody. Or no, I- I assisted in infecting somebody. Damn, they got two sentries up here. Can we get, like, an engineer to do, like, a EMP grenade and then I just, like, go in there? I mean, the fact that I was even able to get that far is kind of a testament to how stupid this is. Being able to be the tank. I got one of the engineers. You know what? That's actually the goal, isn't it? When you're dealing with, like, the sentry nests, if you're, like, a tank, don't worry about taking out the sentry. Just bring the engineer down with you. I, I think, actually, that's the, that's the wiser choice. Oh, we failed, though. No! It's kind of interesting. It, this is kind of an interesting game. You know, the more I play it, the more I kind of get into it, to be honest. The more I'm like, you know what, this is kind of cool. It's like, bizarre. It's like I'm playing alternate reality TF2 right now, but it's kind of cool. And it's, it, it's fun and Halloween themed. I don't get to be on the leaderboard though, because I so sucks.
Whoa! No! What happened? <laughs> what the fuck happened? <laughs> no, I don't want to be hell spawn. I don't know what that means still. Oh, when I hit people, they go on fire. That doesn't seem as good as just being the tank. <laughs> Dude, I think that the tank is just, like, too good. Like, yeah, you're slow as balls, but... Like, come on. What does the medic do? Okay, the medic is just a heal. I don't know what I expected. Oh, I got backstab. <laughs> Why are you? <laughs> Why is homie using the y your eternal reward right now? Maybe if I pretend to be like the zombies, they'll never see it coming. Kind of a kind of a smart zombie apocalypse strategy. What do we think? If you're like if you were in a zombie apocalypse situation, and you were, like, able to, like, decently convincingly, like, look like a zombie, would the zombies be able to tell, do you think? Like, what, what, like, gives zombies the innate desire to, like, attack humans? And how do they tell, like, what a human is? survive simply because your ability to shamble is unmatched. I respect that. This demo is playing a risky game. Dude, Stewie was infected! <laughs> Dude, I was, like, thinking about it recently, and honestly, I feel like I've always underestimated the abilities of a zombie. Because, I don't know, a lot of zombie media really does, like, make, like, zombies kind of, like, lame as shit. But when I kind of think of, like, zombies as, like, some kind of, like, I don't know, like, a fucked up parasite. Like, if a, if a zombie bites you, they, like, inject you with, like, a kind of parasite that gives you, like, this craving for flesh. Like, then I'm like, oh, okay, I could kind of see that being, like, a little, a little fucked up and bad to deal with. I think also, I don't know, if it's, like, a weaker, like, strand where it's, like, it's, like, taking over but doesn't, like, fully get rid of, like, someone's cognitive ability, like, that would be more scary because if, like, a zombie was smart... If it still had, like, that craving for, like, human flesh, but it was also, like, smart enough, at, like, a human, like, that would be fucked up. I think the original zombie from Haiti is way more existentially terrifying. What is, like, the original zombie? stuck in the water. Oh no.
Oh god. Nope. Don't know the specifics? Fair enough. Fair enough. Honestly, it does seem like the best strat is to, like, stay grouped up a little bit. I mean, isn't that the strat in any horror movie? Does this guy have troll face? <laughs> the little troll face buttons. Awesome. We haven't lost any of our gamers yet. We've been doing quite well against the zombies. I wonder how many rounds it takes before, like, the map changes. Because I'm seeing 8, 10 victories on the board. 18 separate matches, plus this one. I got my awesome new... We're just kind of winning right now. Dude, I love this Heavy's outfit. just died there. I was almost- I almost got turned into a zombie. I gotta be so fucking careful. I think it's a little fucked up that backstabs still work against the zombies. I don't know, maybe that's not that broken, but it seems kind of fucked up that you would just be able to still, like, Oko a zombie no matter what. I wonder if tanks still get O-code. That would be the big one. If the tank could still be O-code by, like, a backstab, then that seems, like, a little fucked up to me. All these other, like, shitty little guys, like the Hellspawn, like, that's fine. That's understandable. If the tank can get backstabbed, like, the zombies are so fucked. Damn, the zombies getting owned this around for real. Alright. I mean, we can come back to this map. When uh, I have to do the contract for it, but right now I kind of want to play the other maps. Because that game mode is a little strange. Zombies are from the Haitian slaves brought over from Africa, where as folklore dictates, as you die as a slave, and instead of having the peace of death, you'd be resurrected as a slave in death to serve her even more. Jesus. I see what you mean by existentially terrifying. Because that's not like the- that's not like the killing you type. That is just like... Damn. Watch this is gonna be the zombie mode again, and I'm gonna scream.
How many zombie maps did they add? There's another one? I thought it'd just be the one. <laughs> what the hell? I don't want to play the zombie map. I want to play real Scream Fortress. I want to shoot spooky spells at people. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't want to be a zombie. I don't even know which ones are the zombie maps. What was that called? That was Woods? I can turn off the zombie maps, but I don't know which ones are the zombie maps. Really like the dual cart scary high tower map. Dude, Hell Tower really is like one of the best. I've like actually thought about it and like genuinely. I think Hell Tower, like, not just be is not just one of the best Halloween maps. I think it's just one of the best maps in TF2. I think Hell Tower is genuinely like so good. It's like up there with shit like upward and like harvest and stuff. I think that actually Hell Tower is like a top map of all time. It's just it's just that good. Everyone's playing the zombie map, so it's harder to get the other new maps. An arena map? Dude, I miss arena. I wish that, like, Valve, like, supported servers for arena just, like, randomly. Like, regularly. What's this song? Uh, this is Dark Pit from Kid Icarus Uprising. Oh. I want to summon a skeleton. Oh my god, wait, if we stand on these things, we just get souls? Oh, this is interesting. So basically, it's- it is just arena, but you get to vote on what perks you get in the map. Interesting. Wait, that's kind of cool. Ow. You've never seen arena mode? I mean, arena mode is literally just like, you you play until you die. And you know, who, whoever's last, uh, their team wins. Or I mean, multiple people can be last. This is very true. Noise. Noise. We won. I didn't really do that much, but that's okay. That's how it be in arena sometimes. Dude, why is it letting us vote for maps that aren't even the Halloween update? Don't you want to play Nucleus? Please? It's not haunted, it's just Nucleus, but you could do it. People are voting for Shark Bay. That's from the summer update, dude. Have you guys not been playing the summer update? It's been out for a bit. 
It was good. I liked it. I'm, like, really glad that, like, TF2 is, like... I, I guess the word isn't, like, popular, because TF2's always been popular, but I, I'm glad it's popular again in, like, my circle, you know? I'm glad everybody's like, fuck yeah, TF2 again. You know what, let me, let me, let me try and be the Dragon's Fury. Yes! We're dancing. Dude, this unusual looks good as fuck. I'm glad I got it in a cheat. Crate Depression was awesome. I wish I had like a disposable income when the Crate Depression was happening. Cause I would I would have like a million fake unusuals right now. Cause honestly, I don't even give a fuck that this is fake. And I can't like trade it or anything. It, it's not fair to call it a cheat. Um but I, I, I will explain. Uh, for, for those who were not there for the Crate Depression, as it was called, um, basically, at some point, I think I want to say, like, summer 2021? No, it was even earlier than that. I think it was, like, 2019. Oh, you know about it. Okay, I'll, I'll explain it anyways in case someone hasn't heard the story. Um... Ooh. Yeah, no, I like this. Um, in, like, summer 2019, there was a glitch that was discovered where one of, like, the TF2, like, crates, like, very select TF2 crates just gave, like, a 100% chance to drop an unusual always. And if you're not super familiar with TF2 economy, you might not understand why that's, like, a big deal for, like, Valve and, like, the community. Um... Basically, unusuals are the rarest hats in the game. Oh, let me kill this guy. This guy's running away so fast! Fuck you. Fuck you. Wait, where's my medic? Oh, he died! Uh oh. It's me and one other dude. Well, it's just me. What do you guys think? Can I beat the medic-soldier combo? Nope. <laughs> Not at all. What was I saying? Uh, unusuals are really rare. Um, they give you- they give you funny particle effects above your hats, like you're seeing here. Um, and like, these things go from like... $30 to, like, literal hundreds. There's even a select few that are probably, like, over a thousand. Poking doesn't seem that good. Dude, conversion seems crazy. Why the fuck did we get the fucking invisibility one? Dog, by the time we even find the other team, it's gonna be over. Dude, they got a headshot on one of our dudes already. Why did we pick this fucking... <laughs> perk? <laughs> this perk sucks. I feel like, like, literally, the Mark for Death one isn't even that good, but it still feels better. But yeah, Valve ma primarily makes a lot of money off of TF2 from, like, the sales 
of, like, stuff on the community market and, like, people unboxing for these, like, very rare things. So, you could imagine that they were probably not happy when, uh, you know, people, people could just very easily unbox these things. I mean, they couldn't have been that upset about it. Because you could still, like, you would, they would still be making money from that. I mean, people were selling their old crates like it was fucking the last thing they'd ever do. That's pretty good. Resistance is pretty good. But yeah, it completely threw the TF2 economy into, like, disarray. And, well, they, they fixed that one. Maybe, maybe the quickest they had ever fixed a TF2 bug. Oh! I almost got that guy. I forgot! We get all the perks! We get all the perks that we voted for. That's awesome. Wait. Oh. I still I still died. Dude, wait, I like haste. But everybody's voting for literally everything else. Dude, do they not, it's like... I think you guys are doubting how good increased speed is. Everybody wants that damn skeleton. I, I guess precision is pretty good, too. That seems, like, really good as well. I don't know, though. Speed in TF2 goes, like, crazy. Dude, a 10% like speed increase on a scout is like insane. But consider this skeleton. Oh fuck. You know what? You're right. You know what? You got me there. Dude, I think, like, the funniest, like, recent, like, celebrity thing is, like, inexplicably, like, Ed Sheeran, like, digging a hole in his backyard and talking about how that's where he's gonna go when he dies. I don't know why I get, like, such a kick out of that. Ed, Ed Sheeran just being like, I get to go there. It's like maybe the only dub that guy has ever taken. Um, second chance. Dude, this heals gay people. Let's go. I really like this dude's sign. Dude, <laughs> this guy's sign is awesome. As if that's not illegal in most towns and cities. You're you're just mad that he gets to go into the hole and you don't. Honestly. Honestly. How do you know it's illegal in the town where he's at? He might just uh, he's like a he's like a millionaire. He's like rich as fuck. He probably has his own like private island in the middle of the ocean. He dug the hole there. <laughs> I, I respect your honesty. I respect your honesty in the moment. 
We all just have to live with the fact that Ed Sheeran gets to go in that hole and we don't. We did it, we won. Uh, I guess we could kick that guy. I, I hear the- whenever I hear the birthday siren, that's probably the sign of a bot. Literally nobody else uses that. Um... Yeah, I like this. Dude, wait, I already have my contract done. Let's go. Can I just, like, right away start the contract for this map? What the fuck was this map called? I know this is the arena map, but I don't remember what it was actually called. Did this TF2 not tell you in, like, the player menu? I thought it did at some point. Oh, it's perks! Okay, I can see that in the corner. Bruh! I'm dead. I think we're getting a little owned this round. No, soldier. I believed in him so hard and he's still lost. Ooh. I mean, we got the medics. Also, good night, V. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night. All healing is 40% more effective. That sounds good to me. We got the we got the double medic combo and they both seem pretty fucking good. Oh fuck, here's the here's the original jam. This is the first this is the first jam that ever came out. Okay, getting rid of their two medics seems like the wisest choice. Oh! I was not able to take out their heavies, though. Oh, I got one of them with Afterburn. Let's go. Dude, Arena is so fun. I don't know why the fuck Valve just, like, neglects this mode so much. I don't know why the fuck I can't just, like, queue into an Arena map at any time. Maybe I can. Is that in, like, alternate game modes? Because nobody plays those things. I don't know, but you can play 2 Ford Invasion. So think about that. I'm glad we all, we all wisely chose the skeleton. It's so important for us to have an awesome skeleton. Whoa. Whoa. Skeleton, I'm gonna need you to do your thing. Man, we're kind of getting owned. Whoa, what the fuck? A 
Okay, we're doing okay. I, I think we win. It's only the scout! We won! Let's go! I got second place with nine points! Let's go! Wow. What a ride. This map seems fun as fuck. Again, I don't know why the fuck Valve just, like, neglects Arena. Arena is a good fucking mode. Like, why the fuck can I queue up for manpower in official TF2 servers, which, like, basically nobody in the world is playing? But I can't queue up for Arena. Why can I queue up for pastime? Who are these people playing pastime that this is still in the server? The server search, I mean. Wait, I should I, I should turn this in. Let's get our free goodie. Oh, thank God I got that. I got a new spy gun because I fucking love playing spy, as you all know. All right, let's see what we get. Blazing Bolt. I already have that! I have, like, the whole Pyro Imp set. Dude, wait, I ordered the, the Mimikyu hoodie, like, two nights ago, and the Pokemon Center website is already saying, like, yeah, it'll be here soon. I like the Melee one. I think the Melee one is funny. Okay, hold on. Can I get, can I get my perks? Can I get one for perks? I have to do this one first? Fuck. Okay, bye bye. And that's only. Well, I, I want to do community maps for first. Because that's where all the new maps are. I cannot lie, I'm always I'm always in the mood for new contracts. I'm like honestly surprised that the summer update didn't include any new contracts. Maybe that would have been too much work for Valve. They didn't want to fucking do even that much. I don't know. The, the contracts were cool. It was kind of like a. It was kind of like the TF2 version of the Battle Pass. You could you could have a TF2 Battle Pass, man. <laughs> Maybe it's good that contracts died. I don't. I don't usually like Battle Pass stuff. But it's TF2, and I like playing TF2, so it's good there. Every other game that I have played that has any sort of, like, battle pass situation, I have not, like, cared. Dude, I remember, like, what, the, the last time I streamed Ninjalo, which was, like, a very long time ago at this point. I didn't mean to neglect it, I don't know, I just haven't felt like playing it. But, like, I remember, like, I was like, you know what, maybe if I get the Ninjala battle pass with, like, my free coins, I'll actually play the game, and no, I didn't. Not once was I like, oh man, I really want to play Ninjala for my battle pass. I fucking hate the battle pass. I don't know, it really is like... I'm, I'm like a soy jack. I'm the, I'm the soy jack that's like, thing. 
and then I go crazy when it's thing in TF2. <laughs> That's the kind of person I am. Listen, I've been playing this game for over 10 years, so it's more than earned my trust. Oh, nice. Because this, this is a, this is a by the books payload map that also has spooky spells. I can get down with that. Give me the crits. I love to crit people. Ow! Dude, honestly, that guy is so brave for using the black box still. I remember when the black box was kind of fucked up. I don't remember what they did to it specifically to nerf it, because it has been a long-ass time. Dude, a lot of the, like, TF2 balance changes that I remember are almost, like, a decade old. It's fucked up. Like, I remember when the short circuit was just, like, fucked up for a weekend. That was the funniest thing ever. Honestly, I kind of miss it. I feel like we need to bring back the fucked up short circuit. I I'm all for it. I didn't even use it. I didn't understand how to use it. And I think, like, even if I played it now with my, like, engineer skills, I still would be like, man, I'd rather just use a pistol. I'm a vanilla bitch. I'd rather just use a pistol. Oh. That's my fucked up trade as Engineer truly, is that I'll play pistol over the Wrangler. Even though the Wrangler is just like objectively like the best like Engineer secondary. I mean, I don't know. It's definitely, like, the best one if you're, like, holding down the fort with a big boy sentry. I kind of feel like it's probably not that good with mini sentries. I mean, it's good for being annoying. If your, like, mission is to piss people off, then, like, yeah, the, the Wrangler with a mini sentry is pretty good. But I feel like, in general, I don't know. If you're playing mini sentry engineer, you're probably being, like, a little bit of a combat engineer. And you would probably appreciate having a second option for weapon. Because the pistol isn't terrible. It's just that, like... I don't know. When you're playing a scout, the pistol is, like, usually outclassed. I feel like you get better value out of stuff like the Mad Milk. Or even, like, the Bonk Atomic Punch. I always just go Mad Milk on scout. I think Mad Milk scout is quite fucking good. But I don't know, you're you're the scout. If you're playing as the scout, you probably don't want to be shooting people with a pistol from a distance. You probably want to be up in their face, like, ruining their damn life with the scattergun. Although some of the secondary pistols that scout has are funny. I think the winger is, like, one of the funniest weapons in the game. You just get to do big hops. I think at some point, the Pretty Boy's Pocket Pistol was, like, meta. People were talking about how good the Pretty Boy Pocket Pistol is. I could not tell you if it's actually good. Oh. See, this is, this is a moment where I, I would wish to have a regular flamethrower. I think I'll switch back, but honestly, honestly, Dragon's Fury, pretty good. Pretty good. 
I will definitely, like, play with it more in the future. Get over here. Wow. I could not outrun the other pyro. God, you know what also? Because I've been playing this game for 10 years, this is my 10th Scream Fortress. Oh God. Oh God. I still remember playing Hell Tower back in middle school, thinking it was the most dope thing ever, and honestly, it still is. Fuck, dude. Fuck. Am I getting old? I might be a little bit. Oh, no, I'm not that old. I'm like 23. That's not old. If you think I'm 23 is old, you're like a teenager. You're like 14, and like your concept of old is like anybody who can legally drink. <laughs> Alright, I refuse I refuse to like buy into the fact that I'm actually old. I'm like not even halfway through like once I'm like halfway through my life, then yeah, you could call me old. But until then. I'm, I'm what you might call a kid. I'm like a little baby. I was just born. Ow. Oh, fuck yes. Get some Crisis Core tunes in here. Dude, the Crisis Core OST is so fucking good. I, like, that reminds me, I had a dream last night where I was, like, at an amusement park, which was, like, kind of like Disney, but also not Disney, because, like, I don't know, it had, like, stuff that was not, like, thematically Disney, it was just, like, a bunch of random shit. Like, I know they had, like, Nintendo stuff there, I don't know, maybe, maybe it was, like, vaguely a video game amusement park that I, like, made up in my head. Because, like, they had, like, this one, like, Super Mario, like, boat ride. Like, you know those, like, boat rides at the amusement parks that you go on? And it's, like... It's, like, the boat rides that go around in the big circle. Not, like, a literal boat, but, like, a fake boat. Um, it was one of those, and it was, like, Mario-themed. It was probably, if I had to guess, the Rainbow Ride Cruiser. Um, and while that was happening, in, like, the square of this amusement park, they were doing, like, a concert, and they were just playing the vocal version of The Price of Freedom from Crisis Core. And I don't know what you, like, it is, I don't know if it was, like, a cover that I had heard before and forgot about, or it was one I made up in my head, but I was like, damn, that shit's pretty good. Because it was not just strictly the vocalist from The Price of Freedom, it was a completely different one. Although, now that I'm remembering it, that shit slapped when it was in my head, but then I, when I woke up, I realized that the lyrics for it was nonsense, because I don't actually remember the lyrics to The Price of Freedom. <laughs> I do not remember that shit at all. It was like it was like smooth McGroove lyrics like ba 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 that kind of shit. No offense to uh, Smooth McGroove if that guy still does stuff. Does he? Man, when was the last fucking time I heard of Smooth McGroove? That's like a oldie. Smooth McGroove. Okay, he did upload seven days ago. So I guess he does still exist. Damn, this is like a YouTube channel for like old heads.
Dude, you could cop the Smooth McGroove merch. See, I don't, like, own any YouTuber merch. I think I almost bought, like, Scott the Waz merch once. But then I didn't. Even though it was, like, a charity thing, I, I just kind of thought to myself, like, I could just donate to the charity instead of owning Scott the Waz merch. And I did. Cause I don't know, owning YouTuber merch in general is like dangerous. Cause what if the YouTuber gets like turbo cancelled? Like my, my fucking luck would be like... Oh wait, I do own YouTuber merch. I own the LeJauncey hat from Blunder. So maybe never mind. You know what, it's, though? It's fine cause it's like fire and it's like barely YouTuber merch. Because it's, like, not just, like, it's, like, something I would wear and not have to explain, like, a, a whole YouTuber thing. You know, it's just, like, a cool-looking hat that has, like, French on it. And people are like, whoa, what does that mean? And then I could say that agency, and then they'd be like, whoa, I don't know what that means. That's really cool. Dude, if I got an epic air blast on that dude, that would have been crazy. Unfortunately, I'm not that skilled with pyro right now. I don't know. I can, like, air blast as pyro sometimes. But I feel like remembering to air blast with pyro is, like, I need to have, like, I need to be on a certain, like... What's the term I'm looking for? I need to be in a certain headspace. To be able to truly air blast this pyro. Otherwise, my dumb ass is just WM wanting. Cause it's easy and it's free. And it makes the witch's ghoul laugh, as you can see. Oh. I don't even really think I got close to killing that guy. I needed to aim for his medic, but, like, Pyro's not that fast. He just simply doesn't have the chops. Eh, let's just play soldier. You can't go wrong with a little soldier gameplay. a while to get back to where the enemies are, huh? Yup. No! How are they already building a sentry? <laughs> Dude, we're fucked. God, I fucking forgot that <laughs> there are weapons with unusual effects now. Dude, no wonder TF2 is, like, so optimized with, like, shit. They just keep adding stuff. They probably added that fucking, like, centuries ago, and I forgot about it. Because I don't know anybody who <laughs> runs a unusual weapon. At least I got a big crit in there. Ah, 
God, yes. I'm glad the shuffle is giving a lot of love to Crisis Core OST right now. Crisis Core is a cool video game that is also baffling. I think that Crisis Core has, like, I, th the thing that really does baffle me the most about Crisis Core is just like, what the fuck is that level progression, man? Why do you, why do you level up via the roulette wheel? I guess in general, like, the worst part of that game is definitely the roulette wheel. And that's, like, such a pervasive part that it's, like, a little hard to get past. I don't know, though. I, I, if you wanted to convince me that it's better than FF7 Remake because you actually get to do combat for most of the game, then, like, you could probably convince me of that, to be honest. Like, Crisis Core is, like, a 10-hour video game that doesn't feel padded out, while Final Fantasy VII Remake is a 40-hour video game that is very much padded. And my dumbass is still looking forward to FF7 Rebirth. Because you know what? You know what? That's where the real shit starts. Okay, they can't fuck it up. This time for sure. Nope. You're not getting away from me, motherfucker. Okay, my heavy friend got him. He ran away too fast. I got fucking owned. Oh, I should take my meds also, so I get to bed a decent time. This is a med check. If you guys have any meds to take, uh, take them now. Take them right now. Orpkiss. You know, I will truly not know peace this month until I've beaten Hello Neighbor. I just, like, thought about it again, about how I promised to do a full playthrough of Hello Neighbor, and I've, I've driven myself to despair again. Truly, it is, a, it is a fate worse than death, is that I have to beat Hello Neighbor on stream because I promised it for charity. Why can't I have promised something normal for charity? Like, if we get enough... What the f- <laughs> What the fuck? Hold on. <laughs> fuck whatever the hell I was saying. They got skeleton mobsters on this map. What the fuck?
Holy shit, dude. This stream was also a, almost a Splatoon stream, by the way. I was gonna stream Splatoon tonight, because I was like, man, I really don't want to play Hello Neighbor today, because work's been fucking obnoxious. Let me play, like, a good video game, and then Scream Fortress just, like, happened to drop. I mean, honestly, I wasn't 100% sure if I was gonna stream or not anyways, but once Scream Fortress dropped, I was like, eh, um, yeah, no. Oh god, I got hiccups. I took a little drink of water and it immediately gave me the hiccups. I'm like an old drunken sailor. That is supposed to be mine! What the fuck can you even do with Crits Medic? You heal the guy, know your place. Sorry, that was mean. He can he can do a little killing if he wants, I guess. But I'm not gonna be happy about it. Well, for anybody who's curious about a draft league update, I probably should mention these things on stream because I, I have not talked about it yet. Uh, first off, the Draft League is being extended one extra week, uh, because one of the competitors in playoffs is, uh, on break right now, our beloved Sozzles. Um, Sozzles is in Utah, which is, like, maybe up there is one of the faker United States, but that's beside the point. That's beside the point. Um, so that also means the draft league stream is going to be delayed a week which is honestly fine honestly i'm like very happy that happened because like dude we were gonna have to do the finale of the draft league during the same week as sonic superstars and mario wonder there was no goddamn way in hell that that was gonna happen cleanly So I'm I'm very grateful that that got moved back a bit. That that makes my life a whole lot easier, to be honest. Um, then other than that, uh, th 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 those are basically the updates. That draft league. Is oh wait, I forgot the other one, which is that Lily finally lost. Lily's win streak is finally over. She got an impressive ten wins. And then Sienna was finally the one who could put the bullet in her. I mean, you gotta respect Sienna. Sienna being the one who's done, like, 90% of the administrative work for this draft league. And then she's also the best Pokemon player, probably. Maybe not literally, but, like, currently she basically is. I mean, she beat the only person who had a 10-win streak. And now Sienna is on her way. If she just wins one more match, she gets to be the one with a 10-win streak. And you know, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. But yeah, sorry, that's not the only Pokemon mention you're getting tonight. I also started Detective Pikachu Returns. I didn't play that far into it, but I did play up to, like, a very early part where, like, Tim goes back to his apartment and, like, his family is talking about, like, the last game and they're like, oh man, they even made a movie based on the R case. And I was, like, thinking about that and I was like, man, Ryan Reynolds is canon in the Detective Pikachu universe. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. That's Deadpool. Is Deadpool canon in the Detective Pikachu universe? Oh, they're making a hell of a push in the last minute. 
Honestly, though, bring it on. I need more contract points. Man, we got a lot of soldiers. <laughs> like, almost half of our entire team is soldiers. I'm part of the problem, to be clear. But I thought it was interesting. They shouldn't have made soldiers so damn good and so splashable. Alright? They didn't want us all playing soldier. They wouldn't have made soldiers such a good class. This is the most awesome cosmetic, is the one where the sniper is on the ostrich. I need that one so bad. I would literally, like, I would lose it all just for a chance at having the ostrich. And, like, I probably could, like, reasonably buy it. Maybe not. That seems like a cosmetic that everyone would want, so I don't even know if you could reasonably buy it thinking about it dude i got the spy trading card i've been buying enough tf2 stuff that i got the spy trading card let's go i'm like curious if i look up wild ride there's only the strange version strange haunted mr mundy's wild ride is 50 dollars. okay i don't think i can reasonably buy this i gotta keep it real I am no longer convinced I could reasonably buy this. I need to just get it from one of my fucking contracts. Which means I definitely gotta be playing more TF2 than I usually would. Just for a chance at this fucking ostrich. That I probably won't get. No, see, this is the dangerous mindset. Now it's a battle pass. Now it's not fun anymore. It's not contracts, I'm playing the battle pass. And I'm not even, like, getting a guarantee on this. I'm getting a chance to get the ostrich. Valve is trying to... They're, like, licking their lips. Trying to get me addicted. But it won't happen. I'm already addicted to TF2 in the regular way. Where I haven't stopped playing it in 10 years. Okay, wait. I think it's payload gun time. We have the spell book on this map, but I haven't actually seen, like, any spells. I think I saw, like, one scout, like, launch, like, a missile crisis. That's not the term for it. It was like that one, like, fucked up ball of energy that they can shoot out. And that was, like, it. That was all I saw. That's the only spooky spell I've seen. But it's like, I have the spell book equipped. So apparently there are spooky spells. Ow! Oh! Dude, someone on my Steam's friends list is named Scooby Snack. Who the fuck on my Steam friends list is named Scooby Snack? <laughs> I need to, like, look at this. I almost accidentally pressed... Um... I almost accidentally pressed voice call. That would've been funny as fuck. Okay, this is just, like, a random furry I have on my friends list from the shit people say in TF2 server. Okay. I was about to say. I was like, who of my friends is Scooby Snack? And it's someone that I don't talk to. But I have added from that. Shout out to shit people say in TF2. One of, one of the blogs of all time. Wow. I did not know that there was just a soldier over there. Dude, can I say also, like, man, I am so fucking glad we have chilly weather finally. Dude, fuck the heat. I'm a summer hater. This has been known. I mean, like, 
nearly every stream hiatus that has ever happened on the motherfucker Morgan stream has been in the summer. Ah, uh, <laughs> I'm getting gunned down by the mobster skeletons. What the fuck? Dog. <laughs> Alright, Vinny, light him up. They, like, shoot so fast, too. No! Oh, that's how you get the spells! But it's not even, like, the, the full power spell. You get so few spells on this map, that the, and they only give you the baby ones. Why can't they give me some crazy shit, like Monoculus? Oh, no. Here's some good Halloween music. I gotta keep in mind that I have fireballs that I could shoot at enemy gamers at any time. The payload gun never lets me down. Partially because I only use it in payload, but... It's, like, so funny. This is, like, maybe one of the only, like, TF2 items that has, like, a specific situation where it is extremely good and then sucks literally every other time. I can't think of a lot of other TF2 weapons that are genuinely, like, really good in, like, one scenario and then everywhere else they suck. And it's, like, one scenario where it's, like, it's a legitimate niche for the weapon to have, you know? It's like, oh, yeah, the Huang Heater kind of is really good when you're on offense on payload. You right. Like, it's specific, but it's specific enough where if you're in that scenario, yeah, you would actually change to that. It's not like the fucking... What is it? The Neon Annihilator, where it's like, ah, oh, yeah, if you're on a map with a lot of water, uh, consider switching to this if you're, like, fucking stupid. I have, like, a fucking strange Neon Annihilator, but I don't think I have it because I liked using the Neon Annihilator. I think I just have it because it was a cheap strange. Okay, actually, that did a lot of work. That killed, like, three enemy gamers. So I'm having some Rhesus sticks. Hope you don't fucking mind. Dude, I gotta save my fireball again. Actually, like, the fireball went crazy. Okay, I didn't get anyone that time. Yeah, fuck you! Get scared! Get scared, motherfucker! No! Medic stopped healing me. Oh, that's okay. I got bold. To be fair, I got bold. Get out of here, man. I think we got a nice dub. Dude, come on. Grow up.
Dude, wait, I got blue Pikmin on my side. That's the best one. And Pikmin 1 it is, anyways. Pikmin 1's balance is so fucking funny. It really is like blue Pikmin, once you unlock them, are just like strictly the ones you want to bring everywhere. I guess aside from the final boss, but like so many of those maps in Pikmin 1 just have like a shit ton of water. That like basically as soon as I got blue Pikmin, I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna run a hundred blue Pikmin and nothing else. Get out of here. Let's go! I top scored! The payload gun never lets me down. Our poor blue Pikmin passed away, though. Rest in peace. I'm not, uh, I'm not submitting. I have nothing to say. Except I win! Dude, it's like fucked up how like the, the Rhesus Sticks is like the perfect version of a Rhesus. Honestly, it's kind of made me realize that, like, Kit Kats are, like, a perfect candy. They had it right with the Kit Kat. You may not agree with this. You might be saying, oh, there's way better candy than Kit Kats. But honestly, I think if you, like, tried to name one, I would be like, I don't know. I don't even think Kit Kats are my favorite candy. I just think they're, like... I just think they're that they're just like good. I think they're like the best one. Even if they're not my literal favorite. I don't know, you get the chocolate with the wafers. It's like a it's like a combination that you just can't beat. Why the fuck are we running 3v3? Where the fuck did all the enemy gamers go? I know that- I know that- They have two players don't sleep. Get me back in there, coach. Get me back in there. Well, they just play as heavy again. My heavy who's so full from cigarettes. Oh fuck, I forgot I had this song in the playlist. <laughs> this fucking song is gonna give me nightmares. Theme song of Mel Metal. Let's get the spooky spell. This is such a shit one to get! Why the fuck would I want the invincibility one? Or, not invincibility, invisibility one! Why did I get auto balance? No! I don't want to be on red team. I want to use a payload gun. That's it. Now I'm pissed. You get my kill streak huntsman that I bought.
I mean, I am glad to have this now. It'll be interesting to see if I get more than one kill ever as the Huntsman Sniper. See, I'm not very good as Sniper. It's kind of like a spy situation where I'm not very good with Sniper, but it's not a spy situation in that I still think Sniper is fun despite not being good at it. Like, being bad at Spy is like, you don't get any satisfaction from that, you know? Because you don't get the backstabs. But as Sniper, like, you're sitting in the back anyways, you don't have to be good to every so often get a funny headshot, you know? It could just happen when you're using the Huntsman. Now, if I was playing Sniper Rifle, then strictly speaking, I would be singing a different story. Right, a different story, a different song. I'm not a fan of the traditional sniper rifle, uh, mostly because I suck at aiming. Noise. I love when my pee helps. Nice. Ah, oh, fuck, I killed Transfem Miss Pauling. Inner community violence happening tonight. Sorry, Miss Pauling, won't happen again. Dude, honestly, at this point, with TF2, like, mainly being a game that's, like, curated by the community, I bet if, like, someone tried really hard enough, they could, like, get Valve to add Miss Pauling as the 10th class. Maybe not. Maybe that's too much, but it could be funny to try anyways. I don't know if they'd- it's been 16 years, I don't think they'd ever add a 10th class. Dude, I finished an impossibly difficult objective. <laughs> Completely accidentally. Wait, no I didn't! I still have 11 out of 20. How is that- that's not complete. Don't lie to me, game. That's fucked up. They don't call it the Luxman for no reason. Please? Oh. Dude, we're kind of owning the other team right now. I say as the pyro goes up right in front of me. It's okay, he died to a pumpkin forever. Unfortunately, Valve just decided to ban that guy because he got killed by pumpkin.
trying to play like, you know me. What is this guy doing? Is there just like a random skeleton mobster on the map that's stuck in a wall right now? I wanna find him like so bad but I wouldn't even know where to start because I haven't played this map before. It's a cool one. I do think it's a little unfortunate when these like Halloween maps come out and they're completely original because then you only get to play them on Halloween. What is happening in chat? Man, that guy was not gonna be allowed to join the game. Holy shit. See, that guy definitely got turbo banned to hell. Okay, no, he made it in. Richard made it in. Gotta aim a little lower. Uh oh. You know, I'm starting to think that Richard Stallman might be a bot. You know, I wasn't sure until he started multiplying. Hopefully blue kicks their bot, although we're kind of we're kind of hurting blue enough that maybe they don't feel particularly obligated to. Oh no, they did. Okay, that's respectable. You know, I can appreciate the sportsmanship behind that decision. Even if it means we're probably going to win the video game. Well, I mean, especially because it means we're going to win the video game. But I appreciate that they wanted to keep it fucking honest. Noise. Ow! Oh. See, I mean, I'll always keep a TF2 game honest. I would never want to win because I just didn't kick a bot. It's fucked up. I think I maybe got like three kills that entire match as Sniper. I had two. <laughs> Not at all. Wasn't there like a burger bob in another game? Is this also a bot? Am I getting to the part of the night in TF2 where it's like impossible to escape bots? I, I think it is. Thank God we have Punish Shitster. Takes the fattest dumps on all these bots. Dude, what is... Okay. What is with the, like, textures on my... Sticky Bomb launcher? They done turned my shit silver. Maybe I've been watching too much Wayne Radio TV. He did get quite mad at silver. I've been having fun watching the Wayne Radio TV, like, Sonic Marathon. Although I actually think, like, watching the Sonic Heroes, like, playthrough was actually, like, really hard for me. Because that is, like, I don't know, the other Sonic games, 
were not so bad to watch someone inexperienced. But I like 100%ed Sonic Heroes and have like such an intimate knowledge of that game's systems and like its physics and like just generally how all the shit in that game works. So to watch someone who's never played the game before like struggle, it was like, ugh, I would be like the most annoying backseater if I wasn't too shy to talk in chat. And you know what? Maybe it's best that I'm too shy to talk in chat because backseating is fucking annoying and I know it. I don't like when people backseat me. So I can't imagine how that must have felt. Oh, the crit! Let's go! <laughs> you love to see it. Sticky spam is too good. They still haven't added anything better than sticky spam in TF2. Dude, Evil Boxy Boo has joined the game. How far are we supposed to win if they're on the other team? We need that guy on our team. Nope. And we just put a bunch of sticky bombs there. Oh, wait, there's a spy. Wait, what the fuck? My stream got disconnected. Why? Huh? <laughs> Wait, my TF2 game is literally fine. Why did the OBS disconnect me from Twitch? What the hell? My ping is 24, dude. I think maybe Twitch died. I gotta be honest, this seems like it would be on Twitch's end. Yeah, I could not tell you why the stream just went down. I think that's probably a sign that this should be the last match of the night. Dude, my ping was literally immaculate. I did not, like, stutter at all. I just saw in the corner of my screen, you've been disconnected from Twitch. Which makes me think it's probably a Twitch issue. Which is like, thanks, Amazon. You have so much monies in the world. You can't spend any of them on Twitch. Ow. I think it's really cute that the two engineers are both both beat man. That just warms the heart to see. Oh. <laughs> homie, homie reflected the rocket right into me. <laughs> Which soldier shot that? Be honest. Garbo. You got me killed, man. Dude, wait, we got money from killing the mobsters? What the fuck does the money do? Wait, this isn't like M this isn't like MVM or anything. What the fuck does the money do? Noise. Yeah, I think definitely after this match, I'm just gonna call it there for the stream. Cause Twitch still says my bitrate is unstable, even though OBS doesn't. So yeah, I think that Twitch is like kinda fucked tonight. We still got a couple good hours of TF2 in there.
Which is all you could really ask for. Dude, this pyro is the general. Yeah, get that guy out of here. Who is the one person holding out? There we go. I wish that this was like a TTT system where you could see who voted what. Like, I want to be able to call people out and be like, this is, th this is who called to kill the bot and who didn't. Please give me fire. I don't want invisibility! Bruh! I lose it as soon as I shoot! <laughs> the invisibility spell is, like, kind of cute when you have, like, infinite spells, but when it's, like, you can only get them from killing skeletons, it's not that good. It's pretty shit. Even the jump one, I don't know, maybe it's not that useful on this specific map. I don't know if there's a lot of verticality going on. But that still feels like more of something. Invisibility, when you have to, like, defend the point, is so shit. Noise. I love defending my engineer friends. The beautiful beep men. Maybe it is true that to this day the best Halloween engineer cosmetic is beep man. I mean, beep boy is already one of the best engineer cosmetics. Even though you could argue like, oh, how the fuck does he have a Game Boy? It's like the 1960s or whatever. But it's cute, though. And isn't that what's fucking important? Isn't that what all true warriors strive for? His cuteness? Can you? I thought I was cooking something. I should've just walked up to him with a sign. I didn't account for the fact that he'd be a pyro who's, like, good at air blasting. Dude, he's got, like, such a cute rescue ranger, too. Beatman really is, like, a sweet guy. Well... This kind of seems like a good spot to just lob grenades from. Like, I don't know, I could probably get surprised by a spy up here, but I feel like other than that... Oh, I guess this sight line is, like, really big for snipers, too. This is, like, an insane sniper sight line. I don't know, though, it seems kind of good. Whoa. Where did the scout go? You're in the spot! This is my domain! Thank you, Pyro. I was getting really upset. I actually don't think that spot is that good. I think I, like, fooled myself into thinking it was anything. Oh, I guess. They are a sniper. I do hear a guy doing the horn. Which is, like, almost always a surefire sign that that dude is botting as fuck. Where the fuck did they even get this horn from? D 
Did they literally just add, like, this horn to be as annoying as possible? Is that what it is? Is it this one? It says it's only for TF birthday. Alright, well. Let's just open our Halloween package real quick, and then I think we're good for the night. The hallowed head case. That's not the right sniper cosmetic. I don't want that. It clips through my hat. Oh my god, wait, I have the ostrich. Yo! What the fuck? How the fuck did I not know I have the ostrich? What the fuck? I'm so fucking stupid. This whole time I was like, aw man, I gotta play TF2 so I can get the ostrich. Fuck that. I already got it. We're done. Never playing this game again. I got the ostrich. I didn't even know it. <laughs> no, you can probably expect more uh, TF2 Halloween. I'll probably get some friends on board. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Um, but that is going to be it for tonight's stream. I want to thank you all for coming. Hope you all have a good night and take care. Um, I will be back tomorrow with Ocarina of Time's real finale. Bye-bye.